What does service mean to you? Is it offering to help a friend in need? Is it donating money to put food on a stranger's table? Is it giving up your Saturday for a good cause? At East Fort Bend Human Needs Ministry, it's a combination of all these things, along with a deep commitment to serve the East Fort Bend community. 25 years ago, this commitment to service brought eight churches together for a higher purpose the ministry in East Fort Bend County has grown to a full-scale nonprofit organization, a resale shop, food pantry, and financial assistance program that serves over 41,000 people each year. Service is not something taken lightly at all. And at, at East Fort Bend, it couldn't be spelled a lot better. They are really providing service over there, helping people. None of this happened overnight. It took the faith and hard work of several individuals working together and volunteering their time. The beauty of it all is that many of those founding members are still dedicating their time to the ministry 25 years later. Each individual church had little food pantries at their church, but the, they decided, well, why couldn't we combine forces this is what started this organization. I came and started sorting groceries and carrying food out to people's cars and did that for a few years and then uh, got more involved. Probably the best thing I did was recruit my wife. Providing food has been our strongest point. We got to a point we didn't have any more room to grow. We built a new building. We're slowly paying it off. This has been one of the, I think, most gratifying things too. Since its inception in 1990, the ministry has been serving the basic human needs of families in temporary financial crisis. Services are provided to the residents of East Fort Bend County, as well as referrals from area congregations and other social agencies. The food pantry, financial assistance program, and Tri-City Church's resale shop are run primarily by volunteers from member congregations, neighbors helping neighbors to make a real difference in the lives of children, adults, and the elderly. Anybody that comes to our door that's in need of food, if they're not in our zip code, we never turn anyone away because I need to keep uh, the face of the ministry forefront in the community to let people know we're here, the people that we serve, and how the community can help us. The thought of people not having food to eat, it just breaks my heart. It's our calling, it's what we're here for. So we're here because we need to be here. Fort Bend County is one of the fastest growing in the nation. In a booming county like ours, you may be surprised by the number of families who do not have enough to eat. When people think of Fort Bend County, they think of Sweetwater and Sugar Creek and Riverstone. They just don't think that there's any poverty in that area. But there's definitely a need in Fort Bend County for air services. become like a family member to them. They relate to you, bring their stories, um, and sometimes share some of the hardships that they're going through. Sometimes you have been uh, in those situations that you're able to share with them. Sometimes all they need besides the food is uh, compassion, is a hug, is a smile, is to transmit the message that we're here to help each other. I was going through a lot of things in my life. Uh, financial. Uh, I had a lot of illness in my family. My son had been in a severe car accident. I was off from work for a long time because of that. In fact, I had to retire. We almost lost him three times, and I was at his bedside the entire time. 
The reason I think that I do what I do administratively is because I want to make sure that as a ministry we're using our funds and our resources in the best possible way. Uh, that, that we're getting the most out of what people generously give to us. We are equipped to help our clients on a very individual basis. It is my prayer that in another 25 years this ministry will just grow. I went and waited, nervous, and I went back there and I spoke to Nikki and all the anxiety just went away. My favorite part of the job is definitely the other volunteers and hearing their stories and everyone's got a story and um, I enjoy it. I uh, really have learned a lot about some neat people who work here and have worked here for a long time. I don't have much contact with the clients, but uh, I know that uh, a great good is being done. I've learned about uh, sorting dates on cans. That, that's probably the biggest thing. If anything, I'm, I'm more aware going to the grocery store and I look at things differently, things I took for granted. And probably that, that is the biggest thing that I have learned is how much I take for granted food-wise. And we've been blessed uh, in a lot of ways. And obviously, um, you look at me, I haven't missed a lot of meals. With the help from our coalition churches and donating organizations, we work to make sure that children have school supplies for the new year through our SOS program and that they have food to eat over the weekend with our Backpack Buddies program. We make sure our community seniors have enough to eat with our partnership with Meals on Wheels. During the holidays, we prepare and hand out baskets to our clients to make sure they have everything they need for a delicious family dinner. In addition to serving people in our county, the ministry opens its door to people all over Houston twice a month for an event called Food Fair. In a partnership with the Houston Food Bank, we share fresh produce and other goods with over 150 families at each one of these events. When a client comes in for financial assistance, we carefully screen them to make sure that once we help them, they will have a chance to get their finances back together. If we pay rent or mortgage, we ensure that they can stay in their home for another month. If we pay a utility bill, we check with the company to see that their service is kept on for 30 days. We care for the client's life even after they walk out of our doors. All the anxiety went away. Um, I presented to her what I really needed. I told her the story about my son, how he was then and how he is now. And when I told her what I needed, they began to help me provide those needs in my life. Fort Bend Independent School District has been one of our biggest contributors to our programs for 25 years. Numerous food drives are held each year, stocking our shelves and often giving back to fellow students in the district. I grew up in a family where we always um, gave back to our community. Uh, Volunteer service was a very important part of my upbringing. And so the ministry was a natural way to participate in the community. We believe that community service is an important part of their development. When they give back to the community, they get more in return than, than what they give. Sometimes students can um, participate by bringing food or donating school supplies. And those things, um, when they see then the those school supplies being used the following year, they realize that what they have in extra may meet somebody else's basic needs. people care. All these problems that we talked about, being hungry, having not enough food, these are things that happen privately in your house. And it's hard to admit to others that you have social issues. I painted a bowl here, actually recently, 
I think I've learned altruism. That kindness means giving something and then not asking for something back. And it takes a lot out of you to put the effort to help others, hoping that their life and well-being is better because you did something for them. Recently, this past holiday season, I organized a food drive through the National Honor Society at my school, and I've organized food drives through Girl Scouts and um, participated in donating food and school supplies and clothes. And I did a project with my Girl Scout troop, and I researched uh, food deserts and food sourcing, and um, that was about when the farmer's market in my community opened up. And, and I was invited to speak at a national conference, the Southern Obesity Summit. And so that prompted some research about food and health. And I kind of, that took me down a trail looking at food deserts and food insecurity and learning about the people in my area and across the whole nation who are living in food deserts. I didn't realize that one in six Americans are report running out of food sometime in the last year. It's been 25 years and we've only just begun. We're committed to growing and serving more people in East Fort Bend County. We are so thankful for those who support our programs. The most fun and fashionable way to get involved is to donate and shop at Tri-City Church's resale shop. Located right next to the ministry, it serves as a place for the community to shop and give back at the same time, as the profit from the store goes to benefit our programs. About 12 years ago, I was at a 80th birthday party and I met LaJean Butts and she told me about the resale shop because I had just moved to town. And so she said, we're looking for volunteers if you would be interested. I love helping people and there's times when there's people who don't have the money to really get something they want, a chair to sit in or something, and I can help them get that chair. When I see what we do here, it, it just warms my heart. We've been here for 25 years, so I have full confidence that we'll be here for 25 more. They were caring, they were professional, um, in Christ, like in so many ways without bringing out a Bible. When I presented my financial needs, they listened and they helped me. It isn't about me. God is depending on us to become his hands. We can give them the food of, that can go on their table tonight. Keeping our doors open takes a combination of donated time, dollars, and prayers from our supporters. We want to sincerely thank everyone who has given to our mission and encourage you to continue to help us serve families in temporary financial crisis in East Fort Bend County.